40DLP is a unified DLP and insider risk solution. 40DLP excels at providing rich visibility out of the box without requiring policy. For example, with 40DLP, you can monitor information around applications users are using, data shared to the web, email, printing, USB, and more. Without requiring policy, you can view what data has been printed, by whom on Windows and Mac and Linux, and filter down to particular printers or particular documents. Additionally, you can view information about who's using USB mass storage devices across your organization, and all data transfer to USB mass storage devices is logged with a record of the metadata and file name and path. Additionally, 40DLP monitors risky behavior across Windows and Mac and Linux endpoints out of the box without requiring policy. For example, an unusually large print job being completed, data transferred via desktop cloud sync applications like Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive, unusual browser and USB activity, personal file sharing websites and more. 40DLP also helps you discover shadow SaaS and shadow IT across the organization. Without requiring policy, 40DLP creates an inventory of all the shadow SaaS and shadow IT services that it sees in your environment, with information provided like a risk score and a category, and the ability to mark an application as unsanctioned. Moreover, without requiring policy, 40DLP keeps a record of file movement to services like Google Drive, Dropbox, Slack, OneDrive, Outlook, Gmail, and more. You can even dive deeper into any of these services to view data movement to these services, who's using them and when, from which machines, and what data is uploaded or downloaded into these tools. Alternatively, you can view all data movement to SaaS apps which are not sanctioned or where a verdict is yet to be set to help you discover shadow SaaS and shadow IT services and what data is being moved to those services. When it comes to policies, you can leverage 40DLP's out-of-the-box support for cyber hygiene, data tracking, and insider risk, or make use of the extensive predefined policy groups to enforce compliance with regulations like GDPR, HIPAA, ISO, PCI DSS, and more. Alternatively, make use of the extensive out-of-the-box policy assets, including for valuable intellectual property like source code. When it comes to protecting sensitive data, we understand that not all sensitive data can be classified, and that's why we provide origin-based controls for data originating from sensitive locations like SaaS apps. We can ask the user to engage and provide feedback when the activity is legitimate, and always monitor what the user does, even if they take the data, copy it, move it, rename it, change the file extension, Forty DLP observes this activity and can enforce controls based on the origin of the file. For example, if the user is signed into a personal Google Drive storage and tries to egress the file, 40DLP can identify the egress context is a personal storage account, the file originated from a sensitive SaaS app, and the file contained content patterns which violated policy. These controls also apply across other egress channels like USB, where data can be content inspected and again, origin-based controls can be applied. In this case, the file contained social security numbers and credit card numbers. When it comes to generative AI applications like ChatGPT, 40DLP can also identify this activity and enable the user to make their own risk-informed decision. For example, educate the user and warn them, but still allow them to proceed. In this instance, the user copies source code, pastes it to ChatGPT, and 40DLP identifies this activity and warns the user, asking them to acknowledge and accept this violates company policy. It's possible to investigate particular users and view the full comprehensive timeline of all that user's activity, whether it violated policy or not. This is crucial to helping you contextualize user activity and support investigations. For example, the user uploaded this file, which was renamed, to Google Drive, which is a sanctioned app, but not when users use their personal accounts. 
40DLP understands information like the content patterns within the file and also the origin of the file. So this file actually originated from Salesforce at this time. Through context, we can actually see the original download event by the user. And at that moment in time, we see they provided feedback about why they were downloading the file. 40DLP also provides information around the remediation actions taken and the file forensics. For example, taking a shadow copy of the file and storing this in the customer's own storage, blocking the data exfiltration attempt, educating the user in real time through incident-based training, or even taking a screenshot or a short screen recording of the user's desktop at the point of policy violation. To support an analyst workflow, take detections or events, add them to a case, and then within the case, leverage generative AI incident reporting, for example, to summarize the events in a case. Additionally, all policies have predefined and customable MITRE attack indicators, and detailed reporting to support an analyst investigation can also be provided. FortiDLP provides rich out-of-the-box visibility and context into investigations with robust data protection controls and insider risk management capabilities. Thank you so much.